Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is setting up a camera lock, or basically something which is going to allow us to actually lock the camera and clamp the camera rotation between two values. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today, as a visual demonstration is a lot easier to understand than what I'm saying. So by default, you'll be able to move the camera all around like this, so all the way up and down and left and right like this. If I were to then enable what we're going to create today, what we can see is we can now only move 90 degrees left and right and only I believe I put it as 40 degrees up and down so we can only look certain directions in certain ways and it's not going to be all the way around like you would normally be able to by default and we can again change this so many times in multiple ways so you can see I'm now locked in a much smaller area than I am like this and so on and so forth and it's really easy to customize and change this how you want. So you might want this for example if you're maybe making an arcade shooter where you can only going to be able to shoot between these values or maybe you have some clothing on your player so you don't want them to be able to look too far down or too far up because then it might be able to clip through things or you just want to be a bit more realistic so you're not going to be looking all the way up or down it's only going to be between these values. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today and setting up so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we need to do is we need to open up our character blueprint. So I'm going to hit control space and then go to content, first person, blueprints, BP, first person character. In here I'm going to go off of event begin play, like so. And if you've already used this you can hold down S, left click to get a sequence, then 0 go into the code you already have, then 1 go into the code you're about to do. But I've not used it yet so I don't need to do that. Underneath this we're going to right click and get player camera manager like so and out of this we're going to draw out and set view and then we want to do either the pitch roll or yaw so pitch is up and down yaw is left and right roll you won't need to do because that's actually kind of like rolling like this so you won't need to do that so I'm going to do the pitch min like so connect that into event begin play and then I'm also going to do the set view pitch max now what I'm going to do for these is minus 70 for the minimum and 70 for the maximum are very good values that I found for these. These ones I use quite often in games. As again, I think those are nice realistic values. So to compile, save, minimize this and hit play, you'll notice that we can now only look up 70 and down 70 as well. So again, you'll notice these look quite realistic. But if you want it to be a bit more significant so you can actually tell a bit more, let's maybe put these down to minus 45 and 45 like so and then we'll see what this one looks like you know so we can only look up and down at 45 degree angles like so which works perfectly for what I want so then let's also do the your as well so we'll set view your min and the your max so set view your max as well connecting these in and setting the values to what we want so I might do these ones at 45 degrees as well so we'll do this as minus 45 and 45, or not 34, sorry, 45. And then we'll play and see, we can now only look 45 degrees left and right and up and down like so. So now we've got a more constricted player viewport so we can only look in these certain angles, which I think is quite a nice little effect that we have, which you might want to use for various different things. Personally, I don't really use the left and right, so the yaw, I only use the pitch going up and down, but obviously it depends on what kind of game you're making because also it's worth mentioning that the yaw is always going to be the same way so if I can't actually look backwards and if I were to have the player spawn in backwards you'll notice it won't because it will just pushes forwards again like this so this 45 degrees that I have here is always going to be based upon the actual 45 degree angle no matter which way you're facing so that's just something to keep in mind this is pretty much one directional but again I don't really use the yaw but the pitch I do like really well so I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is just set up this thing which allows us to clamp the player's camera values between two different values so that we can only look up and down, left and right or whatever at certain angles so we can't look too far up or too far down. So thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.